Hey guys, it's Miss Jenny, and welcome to week 23 of our lessons. We get a new Bible buddy this week, a new Bible verse, a new story. It's all going to be new. The next two weeks are about a very special time in our church year. Remember, we have all those special days in the church year, and they all mean something very different and important. We are going to be entering into Holy Week, and one of the first days that we're going to be going through is Palm Sunday. We're going to start that story today. And next week, we are going to finish all of our lessons with a lesson on Easter Sunday. So let's go ahead and begin with our brand new Bible point. We're going to say, we celebrate Jesus. Hooray, Jesus. So when I say we celebrate Jesus, you're going to be opening your hands like you're opening a popper, or you're surprised or excited. So we're going to try that. Ready? We celebrate Jesus. And after I say that, you're going to say, hooray, Jesus. Let's try and put that all together. Ready? We celebrate Jesus. Hooray, Jesus. Yes, this week we are going to be talking about the celebration of Jesus because he is our king. He is our savior. Well, he is our everything. And we have a new Bible verse for this week. Remember, a Bible verse is words straight from the Bible. This week's Bible verse is probably one of the most famous there ever was. It comes from the Gospel of John, and it says, For God loved the world so much, he gave his one and only Son. Let's try that again. For God loved the world so much, he gave his one and only son. Yes, God loves you and me so much. He loves us so very much that he gave us his son, Jesus, to die for us so that we could live forever in heaven, so that we could be saved. Wow. That is some really incredible love. And because of that incredible love, guess what we do? We celebrate Jesus. Hooray, Jesus! Because Jesus listened to God, his Father, followed his will, and died for us. We'll be talking about that a lot more next week. This week, we're going to be talking about a very special parade or party for Jesus on Palm Sunday. Have you ever been to a big parade before? Maybe you've even seen them on TV, like a Thanksgiving parade or a 4th of July parade. Well, this parade was different, and we're going to be telling you why. Let's go ahead and read our Bible story for this week. Jesus and his disciples went to Jerusalem for the Passover feast. Jesus told two disciples to bring him a donkey. He told them where to find it. Jesus rode the donkey to Jerusalem. A big crowd welcomed him. People waved palm branches and put them on the road in front of Jesus. They shouted, Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the kingdom of our father David that is to come. Hosanna! The leaders in Jerusalem did not like Jesus. They saw how many people were following him, and they were angry about it. They were jealous. Okay, guys, so let's go over the story. The first thing that we're going to talk about is it said that Jesus and his friends were on their way to Jerusalem for a Passover feast. So what is the Passover feast? A Passover feast was a special celebration that the Jews, and Jesus was a Jew, followed. It helped them to remember the story of when we read this story before. It was when Moses helped the people to escape from the Egyptians and the Pharaoh. Remember, they were being slaves of the Pharaoh, and God wanted to help to free them from that. And when they got out and they were able to be with God and not be slaves anymore, they were excited. And so from that day forward, the Jews celebrated or had a big party to help remember that special day 
when God freed them. Well, Jesus was a Jew, and so Jesus was on his way to help celebrate with that big party. It's called the Passover. On his way to Jerusalem, he wanted a donkey, and he asked for his friends to go get it. And why a donkey? What was up with that? Well, there is a very big and very important prophecy, which means that somebody saw a long, long, long time ago, way before Jesus ever was there, that this would happen. And he said that a savior, the person who was going to save all the people, would come riding into the city of Jerusalem on a donkey. And so that was one of the ways that they knew that this was the person that was going to save them from everything. Remember, a while back at Christmas, we read a story about how Jesus was going to be the person that was going to be their Savior. And they had waited for this Savior for so very long, but they didn't know it was Jesus yet. This was the special moment when a lot of people started to realize it because when that person said, someday the Savior will come riding on a donkey into Jerusalem, and then Jesus did it, they were like, whoa, it's him. It's happening. It's happening right now. And so what is one of the ways that people used to celebrate a king, used to celebrate a Savior, used to celebrate somebody who had done something amazing? Back then, one of the things that they used to do was they would get palm branches. And a palm branch was a very popular leaf branch from the trees that they had there. They would cut it down and they would wave them in the air when something special happened, like when a king returned home or when some troops or soldiers had won a big victory, a big battle, and everything was going to be okay. They would wave these in the air in excitement and say, woohoo! So what they were doing was Jesus was now known for a lot of people as the Savior. He was coming into the city, and one of the things that they shouted at him was Hosanna. The ways that you said it back then was Hoshna or Hoshiyana, which meant God save us or save us, please. So they were telling Jesus that if he was the Savior, they wanted to be saved please save us, Jesus. Now, they may have wanted to have been saved from something that they thought they wanted to be saved from, different people ruling over them, but actually Jesus was going to save them from something totally different than they wanted. He was going to give them something to be saved from that would last forever. Jesus was the one that his dying washed away all of our sins and all of our problems and all of our bad choices in the past. Now, that doesn't mean that we're never going to make bad choices ever again, but it helped to give us a good, clean start. And Jesus came to this earth to show us how to live, how to make better choices. So the crowds cheered for Jesus. They said, we celebrate Jesus. Hooray, Jesus, because they wanted him to save them, save them from their problems, and save them he did. He did save them, just in a different way that they had hoped for, in a better way, in a way that would last forever. Jesus would die on a cross for them to help save them and us. That's very sad. But the good news is he didn't stay dead forever, and that's happy. It's wonderful. Jesus may have died, but he is the one and only person in the whole world that never stayed dead. He is never dead, not even now. He lives in heaven. And that sure is a reason to celebrate. So that is why we celebrate Jesus. Hooray, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for all that you have done for us. We are so very grateful, and we are so happy that you are the Savior that came into our lives. So if you are going to Palm Sunday this week, if you are going to be doing that special celebration at home or at church, when you see the palms at church in your hands or on the TV, remember this special story. 
remember that Jesus came to save us and that people honored him just like they would honor a king or somebody who had won a special important victory because that is exactly what Jesus is and exactly what he did. So this week, remember that we celebrate Jesus. Hooray, Jesus! All right, guys, don't forget to do some of our fun activities and we will see you again next week for our very last lesson on Easter. Bye!